Hey everybody! Welcome to the Redesign with Prima page. My name is Leah and I'm a brand ambassador here at Redesign with Prima and my business name is Leah Noel Design Co. Um, which you can see that's where I'm posting from today. And um, I come live every Tuesday to kind of show you guys some fun ways to use Redesign with Prima stuff. And um, today I have, I have, we're gonna work on some shoes today. We started painting shoes last week and um, I actually like did some stenciling with the decor waxes on shoes last week and I posted them on my page. Uh, and I don't know if I shared them to this group, but they're on my page, I'll share them to this group. And um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to actually rub transfers on your shoes. How cute are these? And I'm kind of jealous right now because these are, my sister requested me to paint her shoes like last fall and I never did. So I owe her a pair. So these are for my sister. Um, but I think they turned out really, really cute. So my favorite transfer right now, we're just going to get it out there. My favorite transfer right now is Folk Art One or just Folk, it's called Folk One. And I use this on an apron and I've, I'm using this on my shoes and I really like it because I can kind of create my own like color scheme going on here. And then I can add this folk, folk transfer to it and it's just really awesome and I've gotten a lot of mileage out of it. This one's new, but I've been able to get, I got an apron and a pair of shoes out of the other one and I still have leftovers. So say hi as you guys are here. I don't see any comments yet, so let me know if you guys are here. And I also wanted to show you guys while you're here, uh, this are more behind me. I've been working with molds on it, if you wanna see the top. This is a collaboration piece that um, Anissa from this and that and I, we had a class in Kansas City, an in-person class in Kansas City this weekend. Um, I'm from the Chicagoland area, she's from Kansas City, so I went down there and we taught a class together and then we collaborated on this piece. And she painted the girl and then I took it home and I'm adding all the, the, really, like, the really cool molding details. So I was gonna tell you what I used on that right now. I use the cherry blossom mold, which I don't know if, I don't know if anyone has it in stock. I, I think it's out of stock on the site, but your retailer may have it in stock. So check with them. I use the um, Avery mold. I thought that these two florals went well together, the cherry blossom and the Avery. They kind of have like similar shapes. I don't know if this is a cherry blossom, but it looks close enough. And then I used some of these bigger ones from Wilderness Rose. And this is one of the newer ones. I still have resin in there. But this is one of the newer ones and it kind of just turned out. It takes a little bit of time to do it, but it adds so much character to your piece. Um, so I'm still not seeing comments. So if you're here, tell me hi. And hopefully they'll pop up soon. So I'm just gonna bend this camera a little. And we're gonna get started on these shoes because I know that's what you guys are here to see. Some shoes. All right, so this is what I have so far. I went ahead and what I did is when I designed this, I cut the pieces out and I put them in the shoes so I could show you guys how to do it. And then we're gonna go ahead and seal them at the end for durability. So what I have here is I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these out. And I'm just gonna, um, I'm going to start with the back heel right here, and I'm going to start with that one. So I just have to find a little transfer. So what I did is I actually cut this transfer up. So this transfer I used on a, I actually used it on an apron. Oh, there's, there's Jane. Hi, Jane. And I used the bottom two pieces. They're kind of, they kind of come like this. I use that on one of the aprons that you can find on the redesign site. And then this top piece, I've just kind of cut into sections and I've been able to get a lot of mileage out of it. Um, I've just been able to use it on a lot of different transfers or a lot of different projects. An apron and a pair of shoes so far and I still have pieces left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these under this can so they don't fly away on me. So I already have my pieces cut out so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and match it up. So I'm just gonna start with the heel. And with the heel, all I did is, I've all I've done so far is I painted this last week live with you guys. So if you're like, how do I paint shoes? You could just go into the live section and search Leah Noel Design Co. Um, and this tutorial will pop up and you could totally see how to just paint your shoes. So what I do is I just line it up right here. 
And then I'm gonna sit down because I think you guys will be able to see better. Okay, I just line it up right here and I'm gonna rub it on. And it's gonna go on really easily. Now, one of the things you need is you have to have a barrier with your transfer. between your canvas shoes. So that's what the paint is. The paint is that barrier that the transfer is sticking to. If you just wanna like, say you just, you have a pair of white Converse and you just wanna rub um, a transfer on it, you would use Mod Podge specifically for fabric to do that. All right, this is so fast. Peel it up. Let me bring it closer to peel it up. You can see. Oop, let's get that corner down. Look at that. Super easy. Okay. Now I'm going to go to um the side and i'm just going to kind of toss these on the ground as i go and i'm going to go to the next design that i did i'm just going off of this shoe so i have this and i cut this little triangle off let me go ahead and cut that off and i just used it on the side of the shoe i really try when i'm doing this to be thoughtful and just use as much of this transfer as i can so here, I'm just gonna go in the same position as I can, right here. And I'm gonna rub it on. Hi, Heather. The name is Folk One. Hi, Roz. It's Folk One. I love it. Um, Folk One has been, I, I'm gonna order more of them because they, it's just really, and they are in stock. They're, it's just a really good transfer if you wanna, like paint an ombre and then just put something over it. It's trendy, it's cute, I love it. So the transfers, I'm, I was nervous. I was really nervous to try the transfers on canvas or cloth and I am amazed at how, how well they adhere and stay on. Um, I did wear my shoes that we created last week. I wore them at my class in Kansas City this weekend and they held up so well. They held up really well. All right, so once I have it on, I'm just gonna kind of push it up. Let me bring you guys in closer. Hey, Crystal. seems like that's a better view. So we're just gonna go right off of this. So we have this, we'll just throw that in the ground. And then I had this little piece that we just cut off. And I'm just gonna kind of pin this right here between here and here to fill this space right here. Thank you, Crystal. Or is it Crystal? I'm trying to see. Thank you, Heather. This chair, I bought this yellow chair to paint it and I haven't painted it. And um, I love this chair. I stage with it all the time. It's been in a couple like, it's, it's been in a couple magazine ads. It's so funny. It even has a broken foot that I have to tape on it every time that I take a picture. Like, <laughs> but my husband calls this my princess chair. Whenever we hang out in the garage, this is my chair. All right, and then this one, oh, there goes that. 
This one's just gonna, these arrows are just gonna go right here. I kind of just use the corner here. And then rub it in. All right. Okay. You know what I just did? I just messed it up. Did I? No. No. I'm good. <laughs> I thought I just did that backwards. Okay. So they match. Look at that. They match. Now we're just got to do, we have to do this side here. And we have to do the tongue of the shoe. Whew. I really thought I just messed that up. I'm glad that I did it. All right, I'm gonna start with the biggest piece, which is this one. And I have this shoe here for a guide. It's actually kind of holding down my table right now. Are you guys straight? Okay, so I'm gonna have this kind of come down like this. I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna trim this excess off so I don't accidentally rub it on the shoe. You know, putting these transfers on canvas is seems to be easier than furniture I I guess it just depends but it's so easy oh you know what so I'm gonna have two little arrows pointing up right here so I just want this to come in maybe back a little further right here right here is exactly where I have the other one aren't they cute Raz so my my little sister, so I had, I went to the, um, the blogger, the Haven Bloggers Conference last year with, for, for Dixie Bell, and I had Tracy from Tracy's Fancy with me, um, and Tracy can paint anything, and so she had painted, she had, like, drawn out succulents on my shoes, and I painted them, and my little sister, who's, like, in her 20s, came by, and she's like, oh my gosh, I want you to paint my shoes, and I'm like, I, I can't, I can't paint. I can't paint like this. Like somebody else drew this out and I just kind of added the paint and she like insisted. And so I finally, it occurred to me, I could put transfers on shoes. So I'm making, um, so I'm making these for her and I'm a little jealous because they turned out a lot cuter than I thought they were. <laughs> and now I have to send them to her, but she'll wear them more than I ever would. So I think I may, might make myself a pair. So the shoes, you guys, I buy these little like cheap, they're cheap Converse style shoes at Discovery Clothing for $10. Um, I should probably go grab some more because my mom and my other sister wanted a pair too. So that probably means I'll never have, a, you know, I'll never have a pair except for the last ones I painted. Um, but they're super cheap. And so I just buy them at Discovery Clothing. If you wear an eight, you should buy a nine there. Target also has them. I mean, you could buy a pair at Walmart, um, but my, Discovery clothing, if you guys have one around you. I don't know if it's just in my area. They have these just cheap $10 can or Converse shoes. Do where do you guys find cheap shoes? Does anyone have any um, ideas or places, suggestions? I hope they make succulent transfers. Me too, Crystal. Me too. I would love a succulent transfer. I know they have like succulent tissues, but um, I would love a succulent transfer. Okay, so we have that there. So I just cut these little arrows um, just to kind of fill this space properly. Um, I just cut these arrows and I'm just gonna line them up right here. I have two of them. Look at that. That's that arrow. Let's get the second one on. Just gonna line it up. Oh.
The only problem with um, Discovery shoes is my foot's a little bit wide, so they're not the most comfortable shoes. I prefer the Target ones. Target has like a generic blowfish style shoe that, that are really comfortable. Um, and last year when I had those shoes, the shoes were out before the paint even did. It was amazing. Oh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross. Yeah, that's a good idea too. You could totally get cheap shoes there. One time I found my little brother um, Cubs shoes there for like, so like they weren't expensive at all. But they were like Chicago Cubs shoes. And he wore the crap out of those. I think I, 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 sound, I feel like I sound like I buy my siblings a lot of shoes. <laughs> I really don't. Shoes are one of those things in this house that we are hard on our shoes, so they get worn out easily. You guys see how easy that went on? I'm just kind of using the corner of my stick. Look at that. Okay, now let's do the tongue. This is probably the part that just makes it for me. So this is a little bit longer than the piece. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim it. I wanna trim it so that it I want to trim it so it's just easier to, to apply since I'm going to actually have to stick it in the shoe. Okay. So I'm gonna try to line it up this way. I'm just gonna stand up. Oh, I don't want this little ball down here. Let me just trim that. So I wanna line this up right at the tip. I'm gonna kinda of tuck this in. And I'm gonna line this up right at the tip. I'm gonna trim a little more off right here. I'm gonna trim it pretty much to the black triangle. And then, come on, there we go. I have a little bit of overhang up here and that's okay. I just kinda wanna make sure everything's center. Really just down here, cause this will be covered with laces, but you know. We want to put our best foot forward. Okay, so the tongue is the most challenging part. But I'm really just going to kind of go quick. the corner oh, and see it's kind of starting to pop off because it's just it's not flat so it makes it just a hair more challenging
Okay, so as I'm getting to this top, I'm just gonna get these edges. I'm gonna fold that top over. These edges I don't really care about because you're not gonna see them. But this right here, I'm gonna adhere this down all the way to the top. I'm gonna just fold it over. So we have the tongue, we have this one, and now we're gonna seal them. Possible, well, we probably won't lay some. Let me just throw this garbage away so it doesn't blow all over. Okay, so the Mod Podge um, I'm gonna use is Mod Podge fabric. It's for fabric, it's specifically for fabric. And um, I had a hard time finding this on Amazon during the coronavirus. I did find some at Hobby Lobby and it's $8 a bottle. So um, I think this is gonna get me quite far. So I'm just gonna use a cheap brush. I'm actually gonna mist it with a little water. I'm gonna use this one, I don't like this one as much. Um, I throw my brushes away after I use Mod Podge on them most of the time. Um, so. It's like a, I feel like Mod Podge is kind of like a glue. Oh, I need wipes too. So this is what's going to protect and seal the transfer in. So I just want to get a nice amount on here. Is she really, Sheila? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna kind of spread it on a good amount. I'm not really trying to go thin or thick, just kind of medium. Um, I don't know that I will give it a second coat. I'm gonna kind of feel it and see if it needs it. I don't know that a second coat's really gonna help anything. And I'm thinking of touching, I don't know if I wanna touch these laces with a little gold. Probably not. These lace rings, they'll probably just, I'm probably just gonna leave them. So I had done the apron and the, actually I did the apron in the exact same color scheme and the exact same transfer and I gave it away uh, on my page. And before I sent it off, I hand washed it and then I put it in the dryer. I, I like let it dry a little and then I just put it in the dryer for like on, on very low heat for like five minutes and I was checking it like every two and it held up fine. That was for the apron. These I won't wash, but I figured the, an apron you would wash. Um, these I kind of feel like, I don't know if you'll be able to wash them. I mean, they're shoes. You might just have to toss them at the end of the year. So I'm just gonna wipe my brush out because I have a little, if you can see, I have color on it. And I don't wanna get that on the white part of this. So I'm just gonna clean my brush. Grab another wipe. Hi, Renee. My brush is really like dirty for some reason. I don't know if it's from before, but I don't want to get it on this white. So let's try it again. That's better. I'm gonna just go up this edge here. Okay, they're sticky. Right now they're sticky. 
I'm just gonna kind of go over and make sure I didn't miss any spots or I don't have any, it's not goopy anywhere. But you can kind of see, the sunlight's good today, so you can kind of see just how that looks. Aren't they cute, Renee? I love them too. These are, I'm shipping these to my sister. In fact, she was in town this weekend and I was saving them for this live. Well, I was out of town anyway, but I was saving them for this live. So I'm gonna ship her to her. My, my little, she's my little sister and she's, she just got out of college and she just got like her first real job and she had to move to Indy. Um, and she actually, she's like, she's right, she lives right around the corner from Cece's store. So I need to actually go visit them both. All right, I'm just gonna clean my brush again because I'm gonna start with the white this time. I wonder if Scotch Guide would work instead of Mod Podge. It would make them waterproof. Heather, so I um. One, I uh, seal like, I think Scotch Guard would work if they were just painted. I don't know with the transfer. I think they need the Mod Podge for the transfer because it's like a little bit, it makes them a little bit um, elastic. But if last year when I did my shoes, I was gonna, I, I had every intent of spraying them with, um, I don't use Scotch Guard. I go to the camping section and I buy the camping, the tent spray because it's like, it's like Scotch Guard, Scotch Guard on steroids. The the camping, um, you know, like the the waterproofing stuff for your tent. So I always use that on like my outdoor furniture and such. And so last year I had meant I, I had every intention of spraying that on my shoes, and I never did. And all I used was the um, the Easy Peasy Spray Wax from Dixie Belle because that's what we had at when we were painting them in Atlanta, um, and they held up really really well. And I think a big part of that is that the paint, it, it was all paint though. And I think a big part of that is that the paint is just, the paint's durable. The paint has a built-in sealer. But I don't know if you could scotch guard them after you use the Mod Podge. I don't wanna try on these shoes, but maybe I'll try it on another piece of fabric. I don't know if it would bubble or not. But yeah, I mean, I would think Scotch Guard would make them a lot more durable. Isn't that good, Heather? Someone said, I don't know who said that. I don't know if it was my husband or what. He was like, why don't you just buy the camping stuff? Probably because he needed it for his tent. So he knew if I bought it, he wouldn't have to buy it. <laughs> but it works really well. So I just want to get these little edges here. Make sure I have all this. And just get this right here. Hey. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and check again. Oh, let's see. The Fabric Mod Podge is waterproof. Oh, it is? I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Roz. Short room temperature, apply with sponge or brush applicator, close container after each use. Apply a thin coat to the back of cut out fabric, smooth in a place with fingers, let dry two hours before sealing. Well, this dried for quite some time. Um, Apply a thin coat of Mod Podge, work gently into a pleak with fabric brush. Machine wash, cold, gentle cycle after 72 hours. So I think we'll be good. I'm probably only going to give this one. I didn't know that Mod Podge was waterproof. I guess it would be because I put it in my washer. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Look at those cutie shoes. Aren't they awesome? All right, so I'm gonna, oh, where'd my other shoe go? Here it is, okay. So I'll take a picture of these and I will post them on my page and I'll also post them in this group. I'll share the, I'll share the post to this group so that you can see. And I'll also share the, the other shoes I did last week here. Um, but I hope that was helpful. If you guys 
need, or if you guys have any ideas, I'm live every, um, every Tuesday at noon here in the Redesign with Prima group. So if there's something you guys want to see, send me a message and I'm happy to do it. I would like to do more shoes because I think they're so fun. Um, but yeah, just send me a message. If you're like, I want to know how to use this, or I'd like to see you use this transfer, just send me a message and I'll try and see if I can fit it in uh, to our live schedule. But other than that, thank you Redesign for having me. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a good Tuesday. Bye-bye.